Good morning, crew. It's Wednesday. We're doing back and biceps today. And you're actually gonna need to give yourself a towel. So make sure you have a towel with you. It can be a dish towel, um, regular towel. But as you hop on here, let me know where you guys are from and we'll get started in just a few minutes. I'm just gonna hop over here and get my music for you guys. I don't know about anybody else, but I updated my computer and I feel like I can't find anything because everything looks all different. Welcome. Yes, here's my crew. This is your first time with me. My name is Angela Gargano. I'm a three-time American Ninja Warrior, and I also teach here on Women's Health on Wednesday and Friday at 8 a.m. I'm your, I'm your morning hype girl. New York City over here, yeah, so you know how. Oh, Kuwait, very cool, very cool. And I'm tuning in from New Jersey. I used to live in New York City, but I moved because of the pandemic. Um, but again, make sure you have a towel today. And if you aren't on like a slippery surface like this and, and you're on a carpet, also make sure you have a book because we're going to be doing some stuff with the, uh, with the towel, a um, little bit of sliding and stuff like that. But you can use a book if you have a carpet instead. So get yourself some, uh, some household uh, things here. Welcome, welcome. And before we get started, um, I wanted to chat a little bit about, I mean, for a lot of us right now, especially for me, it's it's cold, right? It's, it's super, super cold right now with everything going on, right? It's darker earlier, it's cold, but it's lighter, it's brighter earlier. It's, sorry, it's darker earlier in the day and it's um, lighter this early, okay? So what I wanna help you do is to realize that we can choose to be like, oh, unmotivated, tired, whatever, during this time, because that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna not work out, you wanna not work, you wanna do nothing because it's so cold. Or we can choose to adjust ourselves and to learn how to, what we can do to keep ourselves motivated, right? So I posted a couple things on my page the other day that I think might be helpful for you guys. One was falling asleep with your clothes on. That's, so that's what I do. The clothes that I need to work out in this morning, I, I wear it last night because I know one of the things I totally hate is waking up and then having to change out of my clothes into something else because it's so cold, right? So just getting, having your workout gear on in the morning, getting your workout done in the morning because right now it's, it's light. It's light right now, right? Later at five o'clock, it's gonna be cold and dark and you're not gonna to wanna to do anything, right? And also giving yourself this two minute rule, right? Two minute rule, so you wake up, give yourself two minutes. I'm just gonna do something for two minutes and see what happens to warm ourselves up. So give yourself that time frame in your head and a lot of times that helps you just kinda of get up and stay motivated and keep going. So if you guys need help during the holiday, I'm doing a holiday consistency challenge. It's completely free. So if that's something that you wanna do, it's gonna be five days of workouts. Uh, you can message me down my handles below, Angela underscore Gargano. Um, so message me there. It's completely free. It's going to start on next week. Okay. So starting next week on Monday and we have a kickoff call live. I will actually see you guys on Zoom on Sunday. So again, I want to keep you guys motivated. I know it's cold. I know it's like, oh, but we can push ourselves to be stronger. I'm actually going to also turn these comments off. And we're going to get started here with a nice warm up. This is going to be upper body today. We got back and biceps with our towel. Um, hopefully this music works. Man, big update here on my uh, computer. Anybody else have this? So we'll see what happens with this music today. I hate updating my phone or updating my computer because I never know where anything is or why they have to change everything. But all right, so I'm starting to. Also, another thing to do if you're, if you're cold like me is you start off in layers, right? So I'm going to start off in my sweatshirt, and I'm sure I'll start to peel it away as it get a little bit warmer. But let's start with some warming up on with our arms. So circling that arm around, chest up nice and tall, breathing, waking ourselves up, warming up, we'll be circulating this cold air in your apartment like I am with mine. Awesome, let's do the same thing here with the other arm, circle it forward. Circle it backwards. Maybe you're just waking up right now. Maybe you're half asleep while doing this. Taking the head circling all the way around. I make it a point to wake up at least an hour before this. Circle around the other way because I get my meditation in. I get journaling in. Really important that I take that time to myself in the morning. Shake it up and down. 
Right and left. Awesome. Arms out to the side. We're going to twist our palms up to the ceiling and look side to side here. And also note that these things, you know, even with getting to work out while it's colder, or maybe even getting a schedule of a morning routine, it takes time, okay? It doesn't just happen overnight. So be gentle on yourself if you can't get it, figure it all out right away. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Onto the floor. See, I'm already going to take off my first layer. So I've got my sweatshirt on, and I've got a tank underneath there. All right, so onto your hands and to your knees. We're going to do some cat cows, so arch the back. Push through around the spine. Good, make sure you're breathing. Really push through when you're rounding. Same exact thing. Take your fingertips towards your body, though, now. Now it's going to give you a little bit of a forearm stretch. So you're going to have a head up, push through. I actually really love this one. Stretches out those wrists, stretches out the forearm. Awesome. One more. Hands out to the side. Same thing. Arch and then push through. Awesome. Right from here. Hands down on the ground, hand behind your head. Twist, hand down, twist behind your back. Oof. And if you hear some cracking and popping, that's okay. Again, as long as it's not painful, but really twisting and opening up here. We're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Open it up. Place your hand down. Twist. Good. Keep going. Keep twisting. Keep breathing. Two. And what push back into your child's pose, arms nice and wide here, okay? Take this right arm over the left, hold it there for two seconds, one, two, and then shift to the other side, hold it, one, two. You're going to feel a nice stretch in the side of your body. And notice here, like with my classes, I always make sure we do a really good warm-up, really stretching everything out, because you don't want to just jump right into a workout, especially if you're cold. That's just an injury waiting to happen. So we've got to make sure that we're getting ourselves, especially in the areas we're working on, nice and warm. A few more seconds left here. Two. And one. Awesome. Last one we're going to do is we're going to do our spaghetti and meatballs to get these wrists nice and warmed up. Clap those hands together. Make some spaghetti. Make some meatballs. Cheese. Spread that sauce out. We're going to do two more of these here, okay? So clap those hands together. Make that spaghetti. Make those meatballs. Cheese. Spread the sauce. Awesome. And one more time. Clap those hands together. Make the spaghetti. Make the meatballs. Cheese. Spread that sauce. Awesome. So your upper body should be a little bit warmer and feeling a little bit better. So what I want you to do is we're going to do some of these moves for the warm-up today for the activation piece of this with a towel, some of them without. So make sure you have your towel. If you are doing this on a carpet, make sure you have a book instead because we're going to be doing some I call them wax on, wax off, or some of my clients will call them Cinderella's because I feel like they're cleaning the floor. But take your towel, if you have it, you're going to fold it into a little square so your palm can fit on it. And I'm going to show you all the moves that we're going to be doing. Um, let me just see if I can get some more music on here, though. Hold on. Oh, updates. How, oh, here we go. There we go. That's it. I found it. Okay, so make sure you have your towel folded on up. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each of these moves. We're just gonna go around them twice, okay? So make sure you have the towel by your side or your book by your side. We're gonna lay on our belly. Okay, no towel needed at first. Arms out in front of you, I want your thumbs to the ceiling. Your forehead is gonna place on the ground, your feet are staying on the ground. You're just gonna lift those arms up as high as you can and bring them back down. We're going to do 30 seconds here. And if you're like, I can't reach that high, that's totally fine. Just go as high as you can. Lifting that up here. This is great for working on your overhead range of motion. So if you're trying to get your pull up, really important that you have a really good overhead range. 
three, two, and one. Awesome. Arms out to the side. Lift your palms to the ceiling. Forehead is still on the ground. Lift up and come back down. Again, when you're doing this, just go as high as feels comfortable for you. So it might be a little bit less than mine. It might be more. Okay, keep going. Keep lifting. Get those palms to the ceiling. I know this doesn't seem like much, but this is super good for your body, especially to activate those arms. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Palms down on the floor. You're going to make what I like to call football arms. So your hands are at 90 degrees. Forehead's on the ground. And we're going to lift those elbows and that palm off the floor and then come back down. Lift. Come back down. Maybe hold at the top for like two seconds. You feel a little extra here. Everything should be coming up at the same time. A few more seconds left here. Lifting all the way up. Coming back down. Three. Two. One more. And one. Okay, the weird one now. You're going to keep your elbows on the ground. Keep your hands on the floor. You're going to lift your palms up and then come back down. Just adding a small rotation here. Very slight. Palms coming off the floor. Look, I'm making you guys just lay, lay down today. Isn't this great? You're like, yes, I get to just lay down for my workout. Three, two. And one last thing we're going to do for the, for the activation piece before we get to our towel. Hands behind your back, okay? Like you've just been like handcuffed. Palm up to the ceiling, okay? We're going to reach those arms out all the way out in front of you. Click those thumbs together. Come all the way around. And then repeat. Lift up, out, all the way around. Just tap those thumbs together. Come together. Relax. It's like you're swimming. And this, you might just be like, wow, I can't believe that. I feel how hard this feels. Simple movements, but really good to do, especially before you're prepping for a workout for your upper body, especially if you're going overhead. Three, two, one more, and one. Awesome. Again, very simple movements. What I tell my clients sometimes with those is just to do 10 of each of them. 10 of each of them, but we did them for 30 seconds. Now I want you to take your towel, again, or take your book, depending on what surface you're on. Either is going to work. You, know, you folded it up already. We're going to get into our plank positions, and we're going to do some Cinderella's. This is going to be really great to help you with the stability and activation of your shoulders. So get into your plank position. You can always also do this on your knees. Okay, so if you're here and you're like, no way today, you can do it on your knees. Grab onto your towel and you're going to circle. You're basically going to clean the floor. Circle it out. We're circling in one direction here. And if you can do it on your feet, great. You might need to have a wider stance here so that you keep your form. Circle it out. Clean your floor. Cinderella. <laughs> right? This is, what, this is what you think of. <laughs> circling on the back. I remember when my client said that to me when I was teaching. I used to teach. I used to do my classes in a gymnastics gym. We would do this on the gymnastics floor. And I just started cracking up because I'm like, you're so right. This is exactly how I feel. This is literally like a Cinderella. Awesome. Other side. But some people just call it wax on, wax off. When you're doing this, really push through, especially this stable arm. Really push through it and keep that form here. Squeezing those glutes. Squeezing that core. Pushing through this palm on the opposite side. Cleaning the floor. Felix is like, yeah, clean my floor. She basically owns, owns me. Keep going. Circle it around. Circle it around the other way. Maybe your core is on fire right now and you didn't expect that. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, so right now, your shoulders should feel a little better, right? You should feel like you have some activations in your shoulders from that and your core. For me, that, that kills my core. Core, and you should feel ready for the actual workout. All right, how are we doing in here? I'm going to turn this up for two seconds as I go through the movements. I'm going to do the usual. I'll show you the movements first. Okay, and then I'll show you exactly how we're going to do them. Sound good? Shoulders feeling good? 
You're like, yes, can we just lay on the floor the whole rest of the class? But we're not going to. <laughs> All right, so taking your towel, I'm going to show you the moves we're going to do today. So make sure that it's stretched out. Okay, so with a longer piece of the towel here that you're going to grab. This is what's also really great about the towel here is that the towel is going to help you with your grip strength, right? So if you're having a hard time holding on to things or even with pull-ups, you're having a hard time with grip strength, doing stuff with the towel, game changer, helps that. All right, so movement number one, we're just going to be doing our basic press here, making sure you pull those elbows back. But when you're doing this real quick, I want you, and this is why we're going to go over the moves first, to really pretend like you're going to like rip the towel apart the entire time. So you shouldn't just be like this. You should be pulling the towel. Pull the towel, bring those elbows back here. That's movement number one that we're going to be doing, keeping your chest up nice and tall. I'm doing it on my knees. You can totally do it standing. Okay. Movement number two, take that towel, flip it up, and we're going to do bicep curls with it. Same thing here, though. You are pulling this towel out as hard as you possibly can while you're doing this. Okay. Move number three. Okay. So we've got our back, got our biceps. Move number three. We're doing those up and overs here. And again, I'm just showing you right now. I will turn the comments off as we get started. Take that towel, stretch it out. I want you to get into a ball. Try and see if you can get the towel underneath, okay? And extend out. In order to do this, you have to get nice and close. If you're just like, hell no, not today, just tap the tops of your shin. But the entire time, you are taking this towel and you are literally trying to rip it apart. So your grip strength and your arms should be burning. So it seems like... You wouldn't get much out of working without with a towel, but you will, okay? Here's how we're going to do this workout today. We're going to do an EMOM. It means every minute on the minute. We're going to start off with 20, okay? 20 here, okay? If you finish before the minute is up, you're rested out. If not, then no rest before the next round. 20 of the next move, okay? So we have 20 bicep curls. This live is yes, this live is recorded. And then we're going to do 20 of the up and overs for real, Okay, so 20 of each. I'm going to turn this off on the comments here. 20 of each, one minute, even minutes to complete it. If we do it, if you do the first round, you're like, got this, then the next round we're up the numbers. But I want this to be like a little, like having a little anxiety with the, with the email. I'll be like, shit, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish in this minute. So hopefully that makes sense every minute on the minute. If you don't get it, don't worry. I'm doing it with you. Um, so we'll do it together. Those comments distract me. <laughs> I can't gotta keep, gotta turn them off. <laughs> All right, we got one minute on the clock. We're starting with those press downs. So make sure you have your towel. We're doing 20 of them. We go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Pull those elbows back. Pull the towel apart. Awesome. If you're still going, keep going. If not, stop. We're at 35 seconds here, left here. Okay. So that means for me personally, when I do my email in the next round, I'm going to up my number to 25. Okay. Because we want, again, we want to have like a kind of an anxiety to finishing so that we're really pushing ourselves. In 10 seconds, we're going to 20 of the bicep curls now. 20 of the bicep curls. Again, you can do this standing. I'm just doing it on my knees so you can see me better. So Jeffrey is not, doesn't feel left out. Um, okay. <laughs> grab that towel. Pull it out and let's go 20. Burning. Keep those elbows in. Whew, already done with my 20. We're only 20 seconds into this one. So that, that's how I know on my next round I'm gonna I'm gonna increase my number for sure. I think I'm gonna increase my number to 30 in the next round. But again, pulling this towel out. We're just kind of getting started with this. We're doing this three times, so we're just going to keep increasing the numbers and getting this a little faster. Now we're going to go to the up and overs. If you feel like you can't get it underneath your legs, okay, just do it on top of your shins. This one's probably going to be a struggle doing 20 of them, so just push yourself and pick what's going to work best for you. So grab that towel. we got 10 seconds, and we're going to start. I know this rest time is good, okay? So if you're like, oh, God, rest. Rest is super good to do. Like, this is a... Very good for high intensity and fat burning. Extending all the way out and coming in. Okay. 
I'm going to try it up and over. So the last 10. Ooh. Woo. 30 seconds left. Keep going if you're killed. Just keep going with it. I tried the first 10. See, the next layer is coming off. I tried the first 10 here with, with just doing it to tapping my shins. Um, and then the last 10 I did underneath. So next round, I think I'm going to do all underneath. All right, so we've got 15 more seconds left. Keep going if you're not done yet. And then we're going to go into those presses again. Instead of going up to 25, I think let's go up to 30. Let's go up to 30 this time and see if we can do 30 in a minute. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Bring those elbows back. Pull it apart. There should be tension here the entire time. Bring those elbows back, chest up tall. I'm laughing because this is burning. Ten more for me. And done. So we go, got 20 seconds left. So I think even on the next round, if you, if, you're, if you stayed up with me, we can definitely do even 35. Into those bicep curls next. I'm going to go for 30 as well. Again, keep making sure you're pulling out this towel. This, pull the towel the entire time. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go curl it out. Pull the towel out the entire time. Keep those elbows in. Chest up nice and tall. Ooh, my 20. Keep moving. Come on. Oh, that's 30. I think even on the next one, I might even go higher than that. That's why I love the EMOM so much that you can determine what is going to work best for you. Like if you were just like struggling to get through those 30 and you need to stay at 25, that's totally fine. This is your workout. Okay. This is meant for you to build upon your number and your strengths. All right. Up and overs. I'm going to stick to 20. I'm going to try and go under, but again, you can always do the shin ones. And if the shin ones were easy for you, see if you can do 30. We got five seconds left here. With the towel. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Let's go. Up and over. <laughs> Pull the towel out the entire time. Remember, in order to get it over, you have to tuck in and bring that towel over when you're in the closest center point. <laughs> And burn. Whew. Oh, that was killer. I think I'm going to try to bring that up to 25 next time. Again, see how you're feeling. we got about 20 seconds left. We're going back up to the beginning. We're going back up to those towel pulls, pulling those elbows down. See, if you did 30 and you had some time left, let's try and do 35. Let's push it. Let's move the towel. Three, two, and one. Let's go. And that's 35. Whew, power through that one. Keep moving. If you're going through your 35, pull those elbows back. Make sure you're continuing to pull the towel. You get tension. Your forearms after this workout should be on fire. Forearms should be on fire. You should be feeling it in your back and in your shoulders. You should also be feeling it in your biceps. It should be all around burning right now. 10 seconds left. I like to wave my towel around in between sets because why not, right? Right, right Jeffrey? <laughs> Three. Two, I'm going for 30. And one, let's go. Keep 
Keep pulling that towel. Tension in the towel the entire time. Elbows are in. Your chest is up nice and tall. I got two more. And 30. Whew, so I got 30 seconds left here. So keep finishing it out. Keep curling. Keep pushing yourself. And if anybody woke up today and you were like, it was way, it's way too cold, anyone feeling a little warmer now? Because I am. Now I'm finally in my sports bra. Okay? So again, you got to give yourselves that two minutes. you got to give yourself some layers. Also, what's really helpful is having this, right? And being like, I'm going to commit to myself at 8 o'clock and show up for a live class. Very important. All right, five seconds. We're going into those up and overs. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Keep going. If you're still doing that, maybe you're doing the shin one, but get up to 20 at least. Tap those shins. Keep going through it. We've got 20 more seconds left here. 20 more seconds. Come on. Your arm should feel good right now. Oof. Those warm-ups at the beginning really helped, I think, to make this feel even better. 10 more seconds left here. Come on. Keep moving. Up and over. Four, three, two. And one. Whew. How are we feeling, team? Let's turn on these comments here. How are we feeling? Are you like, wow, I can't believe this towel did all of that? <laughs> Crazy. And let's say you, you wanted to even make it even more challenging. You could do this entire workout with a mini band instead. Same thing here, pulling the mini band out instead of the towel. But I like using household appliances and things like that, especially because... We don't know when we're going to be going in lockdown again, or sometimes it's hard to find any equipment nowadays, right? So you can use your towel, or you can even use a mini band to make it even a little bit more difficult. Awesome. Everyone's feeling good? Sweet. All right. Boy, we can't, we can't believe it, right? You're like, why? You're like, how? What? Huh? <laughs> again, don't forget, if you want more workouts and you want to be consistent for next week, Holiday Consistency Challenge. It's free. Just message me, Angela underscore Gargano. I'll send you the link to sign up. Also, if you have more questions about that, I am doing a live Q&A on my page at 9 o'clock after this. So any questions you have, let me know. Phew is right, right? Whew. All right, well, we're not done yet. We're going to do one more thing. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, one more thing here. For one full minute, okay, before we stretch out, I want us to get into a hollow hole. You're going to take your towel. We're going to extend out, get into your hollow hold, and we're going to bring the towel up and down while pulling and keeping the tension the entire time. We're going to do one full minute there. I want you to not stop. I want you to let me know after this how many you did. So this would be counting as one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so count it, and then let me know how many you did in one minute. Okay, we're going to do that real quick, and then we'll stretch for a minute. Sound good? A little extra core finisher for us. Timer is going. We go. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Make sure you're counting. Push your lower back to the ground. Shoulders are off the ground. You're pulling that towel and keeping tension the entire time. Make sure you're counting. If you need to, close your eyes. Get into the zone here. I'm going to let you know when the time is up. Keep moving. Whew. Almost there. We got 30 seconds left here. 30 seconds left. Push that lower back to the ground. Maybe bring your legs a little lower. Make sure you're counting. <sighs> Tuck that chin in. <sighs> 15 more seconds left here. Come on, don't lose tension in the band. Don't lose that momentum here. Almost there. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, little core finish there. Core should be on fire. Let me know what your number was in the comments, and we'll stretch out as we do this. Ah, killer, guys. I'm super happy that I woke up with you guys, though. Because everything that I posted the other day about it being cold and dark, that's me. That's been me lately. I, I don't do so well in the cold and the dark. I should probably move somewhere warmer. <laughs> 
Let me know your numbers on there. And we're going to stretch it out, so open and close those arms. And again, in case this is your first time with me, my name is Angela Gargano. I'm going to be here again on Friday. Palm up, we're going to be doing a leg workout, which you're just going to need access to a wall. Um, then I have a Q&A on my page after this, so head on over there. Open and close. And then my DMs are always open for you guys if you need help or anything at all. Here to help you, here to support you. Also super grateful for Women's Health for continuing to do these. I mean, we've been doing these since March now, so... Haven't, I haven't missed. I haven't missed any of the days since March. I've been going since March. Crazy, but it definitely, um, definitely helped me. Definitely saved me. It made me feel like that connection with everybody that I know a lot of us are hoping we are missing right now. Awesome. So we stretch it out. I want you to lay back on your ground. On the ground, we are going to be doing our three breaths. If you come to my class, you know how important this is. This will help to keep your day more uh, productive. It'll help you set some intentions for the week. So lay on back. Ooh, the, the floor is cold though, man. <laughs> Hands on your belly. Let's inhale all the way in. Exhale it out. Inhale it in. Exhale it out. One more. Inhale it in. Exhale it out. Take a second here. Breathe. Be proud of yourself if you woke up in the, the, the cold day to get this done, to get this out of the way for yourself. So important to keep moving. And know that the rest of this day is going to be awesome. You're going to have the best day. It's a good day to have a good day, like I said the other day. <laughs> Roll over, clap your hands together, and give yourselves a round of applause. Amazing job. Amazing. Well, it's super awesome being on here with you guys. I hope you have fun with the towel. Feel free to send me a picture or a selfie if you, after you know, crushing it with a towel or maybe use it to, to wipe off all that sweat. <laughs> and I hope to see some of you guys at 9 o'clock for the Q&A. Again, any questions you have, I'll answer there. And I'll see you guys again on Friday at 8 a.m. It's going to be a lower body, and we're going to be using the wall. So I'll see you guys all later.